Lecture 2 of 4 Topic 7.0 Trigonometric Functions Subtopic 7.2 Compound Angle Learning Outcomes At the end of the lesson, students should be able to A. Use formula Sign A plus minus B Cos A plus minus B and tangent A plus minus B. B use the double angle formula. Use the formula of sine A plus minus B, cos A plus minus B, and tangent A plus minus B. Using substitution, it is clear to see that sine A plus B does not equal sine A plus sine B. And so, for cos A plus B also does not equal to cos A plus cos B. Tangent A plus B also does not equal tangent A plus tangent B. For example, let A equals B equals 30 degree. Then, sine 30 plus 30 equals sine 60, which is the value is 3 over 2. However, if you go to find sine 30 plus sine 30, it is equals half plus half, which is 1, which is not exactly 3 over 2. It is for this reason, it would be helpful if we had identities for each of sine A plus minus B. Okay, cos sine A cos B plus minus cos A sine B. For the tangent A plus B plus minus B, we have tangent A plus minus tangent B over 1 minus plus tangent A, tangent B. For the cos A plus minus B, we have cos A, cos B, minus plus, sine A, sine B. Example 1. Without using calculator, find the value for the following in terms of set. A, sine 45 degree plus 30 degree, B cos 150 degree minus 45 degree and C tangent 45 degree minus 30 degree. We go to the first one, sine 45 degree plus 30 degree. Sine 45 plus 30 degree is sine 45 cos 30 plus cos 45 sine 30. So now we just pick from the list here from these two right angle triangle. Sine 45 is 1 over 2. 1 over 2. Okay, we have denominator in the denominator part we have the set so we have to rationalize it so we have set 2 over 2 set 2 over 2 and then cos 30 is set 3 over 2 so set 3 over 2 plus cos 45 is 1 over set 2 so we have set 2 over 2 and then times sine 30 sine 30 is 1 over 2 1 over 2. So, we go to simplify, then we have 1 over 4 times 6 plus 2. B cos 150 degree minus 45 degree. It is equivalent to cos 150 degree cos 45 degree. Sign 150 degree and sine 45 degree. 
is cos 45 degree and then cos 150 is in the second quadrant it is equivalent to cos 30 and we have minus because in the second quadrant cos is minus so minus cos 30 cos 30 is from here we have set to over 2 so that's why we have set 2 over 2 and then we have minus here cos 45 if 1 over set 2 so 1 over set 2 is set 2 over 2 so we have set 2 over 2 and then sine 150 is equivalent to sine 30 and sine 150 it is in the second quadrant sine is positive it is equivalent to sine 30 so we have here sine 30 is 1 over 2 so 1 over 2 and then sine 45 is set 2 over 2 and then you can go to simplify now we have 1 over 4 and then set 6 minus set 2 see tangent 45 degree minus 30 degree so we can use this uh, formula that is uh, sine 30 degree equals half so we will have here sine 30 degree equals half so we have one two and surely this side must be so three and another one is you can use this tangent 45 degree equals one so we have one over one this side must be so two so tangent 45 minus 30 this is equivalent to tangent 45 minus tangent 30 over 1 plus tangent 45 times tangent 30 from these two right angled triangles we can have now tangent 45 is 1 minus tangent 30 is tangent 30 is 1 over 3 so 1 over 3 so 1 over 3 we go to rationalize it. We have set 3 over set 3. This is set 3 over 3. So we have like this one. Over 1 plus tangent 45 is 1. Tangent 30 is set 3 over 3. And after that, what we have to do is to go to. We can have here. This is set 3 uh, we will have here this should be 3 minus 3 over 3 over 3 plus 3 over 3 so it can be cancelled so that's why we come out with this 3 minus 3 over 3 plus 3 since we have denominator consists of set 3 so we have to times its conjugate this is 3 minus set 3 over set 3 3 minus set 3 and go to simplify in last stage we get this answer example 3 find the values of sine a plus b cos a plus b Tangent A plus B if given sine A equals 3 over 5 cos B 5 over 13 A and B in the first quadrant. For B, cos A is minus 12 over 13. Tangent B is 7 over 24 A in the second quadrant and B is in the third quadrant. Sine A is 3 over 5, cos B is 5 over 13A and B in the first quadrant. 
so you have like this for the sign a3 over 5 surely this side must be 4 and b we have the given one is cos b is 5 over 13 so therefore this side must be 12 this one must be the angle of b so what we have to find out is sine a plus b sin a plus b is sine a cos b plus cos a sin b we just get the value for the sign a is 3 over 5 we have 3 over 5 cos b is 5 over 13 cos a is 4 over 5 and sine b is 12 over 13 so what we have to do next is just is just to simplify and lastly we have the 20, 20 uh, 63 over 65 cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b we can also get all these values from the diagram just now and we'll have here the value is minus 16 over 65. For tangent a and b, the formula is tangent uh, is sine a plus b over cos a plus b. Sine so a plus b just now we have here 63 over 65 and cos a this is the value and you go to cancel. Okay, we have cancel can say here so minus sixty-three over sixteen. Use the double angle formula. For any angle A, we have sine two A is equivalent to two sine A cos A. For cos 2a, this is equivalent to cos square a minus sine square a. And from here, you can use the identities that is then cos square a plus sine square a equals 1. So we'll have the second one here to cos square a minus a minus 1, I mean, and another one is 1 minus. 2 sine square a so we have two three formula for the cos 2a the double angle of cos 2a the double angle for tangent 2a is 2 tangent a over 1 minus tangent square a find the exact value for this example one of 2 tangent 15 over 1 minus tangent 15 so we can use this formula the double angle for tangent 2a tangent 2a is equivalent to 2 tangent a over 1 minus tangent square okay and you can have here 2 tangent 15 over 1 minus tangent 15 is tangent 2 times 15 for the double angle is equal tangent 30 tangent 30 okay, is 1 over 3 okay so tangent 30 we can go to use angle 30 30 okay and then half for the sine 30 surely this side must be 3 so we'll have here tangent 30 is 1 over 3 so that's why we have this value 1 over 3 example 2 if tangent theta is 3 over 4 with Theta is acute angle. Find the exact value of A tangent to theta, B tangent 
फोर तीता सोल्यूशन टेंजन टू तीता इज टू टेंजन तीता ओवर वन माइनस टेंजन स्क्वेर तीता सो टेंजन तीता इज गिवेन एज थ्री ओवर फोर सो टू टाइम्स थ्री ओवर फोर ओवर वन माइनस थ्री ओवर फोर स्क्वेर सो वी ट्राई टू सिंप्लीफाइ सो वी हेव द आंसर इज ट्वेंटी फोर ओवर सेवन एज फॉर द टेंजन फोर तीता इज एक्चुअली टू टाइम्स टेंजन टू तीता ओवर वन माइनस टेंजन स्क्वेर टू तीता टेंजन टू तीता जस्ट नाउ we got the value already this that is 24 over 7 so 2 times 24 over 7 over 1 minus 24 over 7 square and go to simplify and then lastly we have minus minus 3 36 over 527 Example three. Without using calculator, find the exact value of two sine twenty-two point five degree cos twenty-two point five degree. B one minus two sine square seven. C two tangent fifty over one minus tangent square fifteen. Solution. Two sine twenty-two point five cos twenty-two point five. You can go to use formula of double angle. Okay, so we have two sine a cos a equals sine two a. So we go to have this shall be sine two a. Our a now is twenty-two point five. This shall be a. Okay, this will be a. So we have sine two times a, so two times two, two times twenty two point five. So we will have here sine forty five. Sine forty five is two over two. For the second one, one minus sine square seventy five. This is using cos. Double angle to a, it is equal one minus sine square a. So now our a is seventy five. So this one minus two sine square seventy five can go to double it. So cos two times seventy five if is cos one hundred and fifty degree equals minus three over two. Cos one hundred and fifty is in the second quadrant. If it is in the second quadrant, quadrant cos must be negative. This is one hundred and fifty degree. So therefore, the acute angle must be thirty. Cos thirty is coming from cos thirty. Okay, this is okay. Right angle, triangle. Thirty degree. So this one, two for the sine, this three. So we have here cos thirty is three over two, and since it is in the second quadrant, this is minus. So we have minus three over two. The next one is two tangent fifteen over one minus tangent square fifteen. So we can use this formula. That is tangent to theta equals two tangent theta over one minus tangent square theta. So we have tangent two times fifteen. So we have tangent thirty is three over three.